Okay, so I went around a little bit, found a Guts capsule, bought a few more items at the store, equipped everybody, and I think we're good. So let's go into this cave. Uh, well, it's definitely a cave. And there's a whole lot to do here, wow. A preview of things to come, I suppose. Well, there's nowhere to go but down from here. Oh great, well, maybe we could go back in just for a second. Uh, it certainly is weird here. Let's go. I like the music there, though. It's really... How is that dinosaur ever going to get anything? Look at him. He's he's stuck in the palm tree. It's not the first time the, end, the game engine has spawned an enemy in a weird place. And this guy's going to be... There's a present over here. I saw it when I was walking over here. Gotta get it. Whatever it is. There is a cloak of kings! Gee, it says of kings. I wonder who could possibly wield it. There you go, poo. Oh, whoops. Put Who? Is it a weapon? Is it a body? It is. What does it do? It does things. Okay, so it's good. Uh, who needs something? Ness has had that knight pendant forever. I'd like him to have something better, but Paula kind of needs it more because she almost dies a lot more than Ness does. So, let's go ahead and give her the sea pendant. Oh, I don't really know what the, uh, the other pendant does, though. Wait, is it better than the sea pendant? Mmm, not really. Goods. Ness has got so much crap. Oops, fail. Oh, well, we'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out when there's a boss coming. That's the only time it really matters. Come on, just... I'm not over here. Don't watch me. I'm kind of stuck. Great. I'm kind of screwed. Maybe he'll go away. If I pretend I'm not here. Okay, how are we going to get past this dude? Let's hope for the best. Let's do it. Oh! Didn't work out very well. Chompasaur. I'm just going to bash him until that shield gets dissipated because it can be pretty annoying. Uh, what am I doing? What's this do anyway? Whoops. Uh, it did, I just equipped it. Okay. See, even... It, it even... De oh, shield's gone now, I guess. That was weird. But it even deflects physical attacks. Oh, dear. Uh, Paula's already almost dead. Screw it. Get Paula. Do it, do it, do it! Yes! That was so close. Again. I wonder if... Well, actually, no, that doesn't seem to... I don't know how that... I'm just gonna say that, you know how in most of these kinds of RPGs, uh, the order of which you have your party listed might affect the chance that they'll get attacked when an enemy does something. But I guess it wouldn't really matter in this game, because everybody's in the preset order, and you can't move them from that. Mm. Just a physical attack it. Paula, use your freezeness. Jeff just, uh... You know, blasted to smithereens. Ah, who? You're you're hurt a bit. Fix that. Ness is hurt a bit too. Sure, he can take a lot of punishment, but he can't take infinite punishment. Here we go. Let's see if we can dodge the second one. Yeah, I think we'll have an easier time with him if I can squeeze through here, which I can't. Great. Come on, baby. We can do this. Yeah, we made it. There's a spring. Oh, we could wait there, but that's boring. What's it say? In case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. The boss. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Ugh, more dinosaurs everywhere. I'll take my chances. I'll go over here. Go get stuck on that tree. And maybe you'll be... Hot spring. Should I risk it? Nah, that only cures status effects, and I don't have any status effects on me right now. There's a cave. That's certainly where we'll find our last year sanctuary location. And after that, I don't know what happens. Uh, we have fire. Again. It's like a moonside. Fire is evil. And, ooh! Oh, God, fire everywhere. Well, if it's a fire-based enemy, it's probably weak against... Whoa. Ice. 
Let's do that. Test it out. Got we we'll use a weak eye spell and see how that fares. Poo just fix up Nass, he needs it. Psy freeze. 287. That's a bit more than it normally would be. Oh great. But since they all use fire attacks, they all hit everybody. But that only really affects Ness and Pooh, and they can heal themselves anyway. Kill it. I would say kill it with fire, but that seems like a bad idea. 7,500. Oh, I can't climb up that ladder, so screw that. Well, not ladder, but thing. And major Psychic Pyro. Oh, boy. Got some weirdness. You know what we do with weirdness? We kill it. Wonder if a bazooka is gonna work out. Mm, go ahead and use freeze on the other dude. He might be trying something funny. That's quite a bit of damage. He solidified awesomeness. Nice. That didn't do as much damage as I wanted to. This is kind of annoying. Looks like one of those dungeons where the battles just take a while because there's so many things going on at any given time. We can finish this guy off with a simple bash. Save our PP for the people who need it. This might actually be like the third to last dungeon or something. That was an okay level up Nass, but you can do better than that. What's in here? Better be worth it. Speed capsule? Uh, who has the lowest speed? 30, 49, 30, 80. Who has got really high speed? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give that to eh, Ness. Ness could always use that. Fire. Do not want fire. We can go over here. Stay away from the fire. There's a, definitely a door over here. But I have a feeling we're supposed to be climbing up rather than exploring doorways. I would try to run, but I don't know. It seems kind of risky. Um, Psy Freeze on that dude, because it'll probably kill him instantly. Hungry HP sucker, because you're hurt a little bit. And, oh crap, Ness is almost dead. Gotta fix that. Ness, how come you get hit so much? I should probably give you the, uh, the awesome amulet that absorbs fire. I wonder if I have any more of those anywhere. Or if I could buy them somewhere. It'd be really nice if I could. Maybe I should have given the Horn of Life to that dude in Tenda Village first. Oh man. Not good. Does enough damage to be okay, I guess. Turn back to normal? You mean he was normal to begin with? Oh man. Paralysis. I'm not too concerned about paralysis. Eh, Jeff, he would have just stood there anyway. So just take him out. Yeah. Next time I'm going to try and run and see if I can get past these guys without having to fight every single one of them that I come across. That's a pretty dang good level up, Pooh. What's over here? Something interesting. But first, Pooh needs healing. What's good about this dungeon is that Paula and Jeff are pretty much immune to these bosses, these enemies' attacks. But nobody else is, which is kind of pointless. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna try and run. See if we can get away. And did! Oh, awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just look around out here. Oh, present. Cool. Oh, I'm talking to it. There's a sheriff's band inside. What does that do? Sheriff's band. Must be equipped on your arm. Increases your defense. Helps keep you from being hypnotized. And also increases luck. I'll, uh, deal with that. Eventually. Come on, baby. Try to run away from this dude again, because we did it the first time. Oh god, it's a soul-consuming flame. That's pretty damn intimidating, if I do say so myself. Just bash it. Since it's a flame, you can freeze it. Do nothing! Yeah, do that, Jeff. I'm pretty good at that. Eh, poop. Use a snake bag. I, I want to just use that. Three points of damage. And got poison! Cools. Sci freeze. 843 damage. That was easy. I expected that to be very hard, but I was mistaken. Let's get up. 
Now we're on the second floor of this place. Present over there, gotta get it. But first, let's see if we can get Jeff back on his feet, because he is paralyzed, and that ain't good. Oh, good. Well, this place looks like it's confusing, terrifying, and crispy at the same time. So I'm only going to show you something when things get a little bit interesting. See y'all in a, well, whenever that happens.